Mossy Yo presents Sandblocker Most Wanted. My most wanted case file this week starts out in eastern New Mexico near the town of Tatum. It's about five to ten miles from the West Texas border. And this country is flat now. I mean flat. Most wanted, what is that? Well, to me, it's going after the most wanted species of big game that there are in North America. And when you can target an individual animal of a certain species and get him collected, that's even a greater challenge. And just to take a good representative of the species I'm after is my most wanted. Pronghorns are one of North America's most intriguing big game animals and definitely on the most wanted list. With over one million animals across the western states, Canada, and parts of Mexico, there are many affordable avenues for sportsmen to pursue them. The name pronghorn is derived from the forward projecting prong on each one of its horns. Pronghorns have true horns in that the horn sheath is composed of fused hair, which covers a bone core. The horn sheath on an antelope is shed each fall in October and November and is grown back before the next fall. The antelope season here in eastern New Mexico where I hunt at usually starts on the second Saturday of September every year. And that's right in the middle of the archery elk season, which I'm normally headed to at this time of year. So it makes it easy to do both on one trip. It's about a 16 hour drive from my home in Missouri to where I'll be hunting antelope in eastern New Mexico. And after driving all night, I met up with Brian Goodwin from Hobbs, New Mexico to get familiar with the ranches we were gonna be hunting for the next couple of days. We went down and checked in at the ranch headquarters with the owner of the ranch and, you know, these guys live here. And it's like doing your homework. You talk to people like this, or if you're hunting on uh, public land, talk to the local game wardens or mail carriers or something, find out where they've been seeing nice antelope bucks. And then, you know, break your search area down to these areas and see if you can spot them. And uh, sure enough, we went out where he said and there they were. He in fact told us that an antelope we seen the year before that had a horn that almost sticked out at a 90 degree angle out of his head will still roam in the area. There's different ways to hunt pronghorn antelope. You can sit on a water hole and wait for him to come in or you can spot and stalk. Spot and stalk hunt down this part of the country consists of two important ingredients. One being a Ford truck that you've got filled to the gills with diesel fuel so you can cover a lot of miles. And another one is a good set of optics for the thousands of acres you'll have to scan to find these animals. After you've spotted one you want to go after, just sneak up on him and shoot him. That's not nearly as easy as it sounds. The antelope has one of the best set of eyes in the animal kingdom. They sit out forward on top of their head. They can nearly see in a 360 degree circle, making it very hard for predators to sneak up on them. And they say that they can see movement up to three miles away. Now, in this flat country with grass, it's about three inches tall. Who are we kidding to think that we're gonna sneak up right on top of these antelope? Well, that's why we're packing Mr. Browning and Mr. Winchester, because we're gonna try and reach out and touch them. Not all pronghorns are created equal. They're not all just alike. The year before we were on this ranch, last day, everybody was filled out and we seen this giant of a pronghorn buck. Big height, big mass, but the unique thing about him is one of his horns, I think it was on the right side, almost goes out at a 90 degree angle. I thought about the uniqueness of this particular buck for a whole year. And after we talked to the ranch owner, he told me that buck was still up there in that pasture where we'd seen him before, so hopefully we can find him. 